Right, so this morning, uh, I'm gonna take you around a different hotel. So before we went to the Bahia Principe Sunlight Tenerife, if you wanna see this video, click here. And now we're gonna go and take a look around the Bahia Principe Costa Adeki. So this is just across the road and it's actually a sister, sister hotel. Um, and you can use both facilities in each hotel but I didn't show it in the last video so what I'll do is I'll show it in this one so let's go and take a look so the other hotel is just here and then you walk down the hill short walk literally just to this next hotel there you see the sign this is where we're going in. So just there on the right, you've got the village, which is where all the entertainment happens, but we'll go to that in a minute. You can see you've got all these lovely views. There you go. So this is where the coach will pull in if you get a coach transfer or obviously the reception which is just over here as soon as you first get in here there is there's a bar just there there's a pharmacy drug shop just there um, it's, it's early in the morning so stuff isn't actually open yet but what we'll do is we'll come down here and then we'll look over have a look in the square So this place actually here on the corner, um, you can see there's a few football games on, so this is for the sports bar, but this, is, this isn't the one in the corner, this is the other place. But this is actually a karaoke bar, it's another private place, it's um, not actually associated to the hotel, it's just in the hotel. Um, just one thing I'll quickly show you before we go into the square. So just over there, I'll just zoom in a bit, you'll be able to see. That is the Hard Rock Hotel. So the tower on the left and the tower on the right. So the one on the left, um, there's actually a rooftop bar in the Hard Rock Hotel. You can, so how you would get to that is you can either get a taxi or use your car if you hire a car. Or just down there, you can see all down the side of the hotel there is actually I don't know if they class that as a beach or whatever it is but um, there is actually a little walkway where you can get through and then cross the road and then walk across around the back um, it is a bit of a walk though so it's not for the faint hearted it's probably easier to get a taxi to be fair Right, let's go and take a look in the square, or in the village. Okay, so, normally these are, um, th these are all shops that are open, and normally pull out all their stuff, and there's normally like lots of different shops. Um, 
but as I said, this is uh, the sports bar. So again, we've got the sign for the football that's playing. Um, but this is privately owned. This is not partly all inclusive. Um, and it's actually a bar that just shows sports that you can go to if you fancy it rather than going elsewhere. So this is a funny one. So this is actually an Indian. It's quite good. Three courses. Um, we haven't been there, but it's a good deal. Um, again, it's a bit strange because it's an all-inclusive resort and they've got an Indian. But hey-ho. <laughs> so it's private and not part of the uh, hotel at all. Over here, you've got sort of all the tour operators will be in here, so you like your two year reps and your jet two year reps and whatnot, and you'll be able to book excursions and stuff in there. This is a snack bar, it's pretty simple. The snack bar, I don't know if it's open, uh, no, it's still closed, but it's actually open from 10 o'clock in the evening till 7 o'clock in the morning, 7 30 in the morning. There, and they serve. Um, like hot dogs, burgers and bits and pieces like that um, all night till 7 in the morning so this is kids club where the kids would go um, where you send the kids and they go out and do bits and pieces all around the hotel with the reps basic kids club really then you've got an automated laundrette which is pretty cool don't show too much of that it's <laughs> just a laundrette Um, just through there, you've got the toilets. Uh, obviously, you've got your main stage. And this is the area, like I say, where the, all the entertainment's going to be in the evening. So this is where you'll come down. Regardless of what hotel you stay in, this is where you'll come for your, for your entertainment, where your main entertainment is. There are other entertainment options, as I'll show you in a little while. But this is where the main entertainment takes place. And they have bands or um, yeah, your classic holiday stuff. So they have bands on. They have uh, they do acrobatic shows. The, the entertainment team put on shows as well. Right, so let's crack on through the hotel. It's a very grand uh, entrance to this hotel and reception. It's massive. As you can see, you walk in and it's just like a, a church almost. Really big. I don't know if the camera does it any justice. And you've got like your canary and pictures. Places to sit where you're waiting to get checked in. You've got your check-in desk over there on the right-hand side. And they've got cool pictures up there as well. is actually these parts so that desk there you can check in uh, to the a la carte restaurants which is pretty cool so there are four a la carte restaurants on site yeah so this is just all the reception there's actually a big terrace area out here I've never seen anything happen Maybe sometimes they do, not sure. So you've got all of these things here which are rooms. They look like villas, but they're actually rooms. So this is the other entertainment area, which is just downstairs. We'll go there in a second. But just there on the left, you can see that there's the uh, that's the buffet restaurant where people are going to go and eat their buffet uh, for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And then you've got an outside option which is on the balcony just over there. I'll show you a peek in there as well. I won't be able to go in, but I can show you it from the outside. Right. So let's go... 
downstairs. Okay. These massive stairways down here. Really big. So in here it's a bit dark at the minute, but this is uh, where a lot of people sit in the evenings and they all sort of have their drinks because the bar's just beneath me and I'll show you that in two seconds. So you've got your gift shop. As I say, it's a little bit early, so nothing's really open yet, but you can get most of the stuff that you've forgotten or whatever in here. Pretty good gift shops, to be fair. Right, so this is where they will sit in the evenings. And this is the bar. This is one of the main bars in this hotel. So sometimes it is self-service. You might be able to get on there for the menu if you want to pause the screen and try that. Hello. So you can actually rent a car in this hotel as well as it will stand there where they do like rent a car. Personally, I wouldn't recommend them because they're very expensive. Um, so this is the games area. There's even a piano there if you fancy playing piano, if you can. You've got a little table tennis just over there. Obviously the card tables. And then you've got like an arcade. squeaky floor. <laughs> there you got a jewellery shop that's normally open and then another place where you can book excursions just in there and in the evenings you've got this area you can sit and chill out um, with all these different sofas and stuff after you've had your meal. Um, there are these um, photo things here where they go around in, in the hotel and they take photos of you and you can buy the photos and stuff we don't do that but you can if you like um, so this is where the other stage would be where they have a, like evening singers and stuff like that um, and obviously everyone sits around here having drinks but there is actually another area just down there which I'll show you in a second so this is the gym so I'll take you in just to give you a quick look at what's in here so you've got your basic machines just in here and then also you've got like a crossfit area as well And then also, actually, there's the spa. So I think it's just like massages and facial treatments and bits and pieces like that. But yeah, that's the spa. So you can book yourself in there. I don't think there are any free treatments involved in your room. Or at least we didn't... I don't know if there are, there might be, you might get a discount, I'm not sure. But we didn't receive anything anyway. 
so I'm guessing it's full price. So these are the gardens. So it's one good thing about this hotel is lots of gardens. So this area is where they have all cocktails. So this is a cocktail bar. So that's the bar and this is where you would sit in the evening. And this is all lit up and stuff. This over here is your Italian restaurant. Uh, I'm not going to go in, but that's the Italian restaurant. Um, let's go down and take a look at the pools. Very beautiful gardens in this hotel. So, we got all these bridges here and stuff. Now there used to be all water that used to run down here um, all the way through, but it's not anymore. But that's okay. That's okay. you still got some pretty gardens to look at. So you've got some rooms here on the left. Um, some of them are nice. Uh, balconies and stuff that overlook the pools. Now this this hotel can be quite hilly, so please bear that in mind if you do book it. It is a bit of a pain if you do get so. As you can see over there, there's there's rooms right in the distance, and if you do get booked in one of those rooms, it can be quite a pain in the ass to get to. Um, like the buffet restaurant and things like that. So we get to our first pool. Um, I'm not sure what, if this is a kids only pool or whatever, but it doesn't really say if it's a kids only pool, but that's one of the little pools. I don't know if it's heated, let's check. I don't know, but it's not cold. <laughs> you do get cats about as well. There's one up there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little cat. This is the second pool. Um, as you can see, it's a nice big pool. I think half of it is heated and half of it is not. I think this side is not heated and the other side is heated. Um, and this is where the entertainment crew will all be and uh, where you'll have your daily entertainment so in this hotel as you can see there's lots of sunbeds and stuff um, but people do tend to get up quite early and put out their sunbeds so they can get their prime positions and where they want to be and stuff um, so it's worth taking that into consideration <laughs> if you really want a sunbed in a certain place I'm just going to walk over this bridge so you get a nice view there of the mountains and stuff as the sun's coming in coming up over the mountains right over this side this is the Casa Bonita so that's your steak restaurant just in there it's been in there a few times it's okay Got some nice steaks in there. The, the a la carte restaurants are actually quite nice in general. Just depends on your taste, I guess, and what you like. So there is actually, so there's a Chinese, there's a Mexican, there's a steak restaurant, and 
the Italian. So this is your pool bar, the top pool bar for that for this pool. Obviously, it's a big pool area, so this is the top pool bar. And there's also some rooms just over there as well. I don't know if they're easy access rooms or what, but yeah, they overlook the pool. Then over there, you've got a kids' playground. quite basic but the kids enjoy it um, so you can see you've got all these rooms and the sea is just over there so most people will end up with a sea view of some sort um, but if you do really want a, uh, the best sea room you're going to want these ones on the corner because that literally is the best sea view um, something interesting just over here I think we might have to go around this way actually. Hold on. Let's have a look. I don't know why that's there. But we really actually a little acti gym here. <laughs> Is that what you call it? An acti gym? I don't know. But yeah, all these little um, outside exercise machines. That you can go on so again there's more rooms out here this is the you can see up the side of the hotel there and that's the other hotel I don't know if the sun's in the way but yeah but also just one thing to mention is that there is this massive um, site of gypsies they're actually no bother at all, you never hear any noise or anything, or any issues from them at all. Just keep themselves to themselves. Never get any in the hotel, any, any problems. It's never been an issue. So this is the uh, final pool, just down here, it's the infinity pool. So we're gonna take a look down there. There's actually a really big bar down here as well. Now I would expect a lot of towels in this area. There's a hot tub there, big hot tub, but they're never hot. <laughs> they're just like um, bubble tubs, if anything, realistically. Look at that, eh? So the sun's still trying to get through the clouds and get rid of them. That'll all be gone in an hour or so. Let's go down here quickly before we take a look at that pool anymore and show you this place. So, like I said, there used to be a gate I'm not sure if that's true anymore, but yeah, I think it is. All right, hold on. Yeah, here we go over here. Here we go, here we go. Look, so if you want to take a walk to the beach or wherever it is, is it locked? I think it's locked, so you can't go through there. As you can see, that's the hard rock over there. That might be this one. Yeah, it's this one. Right. So if you do want to take a walk, um, you can go down to that stone beach. It's technically a beach. Um, you can see there's a little path, you can see you go down there, you wind your way up and get up the hill, just up that pathway and then you can go up 
and explore the other side. You've got all rooms on the back as well here, but again, you get a nice sea view. So it doesn't matter if you're at the back of a hotel, you still get a decent view. So this is your pool. This is the uh, Pista Resistance Infinity Pool. Very cool, eh? It's quite a big pool. Obviously, like I say, you've got the, the bridge going over the top as well, which is quite a nice touch. Um, then you've got all these sunbeds here. You can just chill out and watch the ocean all day. Um, you've got the wind blockers as well, because it can be quite windy, Tenerife. And you've got these luxury beds as well, look. So what does that say? Are they privileged? Oh, I think it says they're 40 euros a day. Yeah, it's privilege club. Yeah, that's what it says. Fair enough. So. Let's get over this bridge. Nice little picture point here. So just over there on the right. That's where you can see the bar. That's the bar over there. You can get all your daytime snacks and bits and pieces. Um, that's it really. That's the hotel. Um, just over here, there are some other bits and pieces here. You've got a pool table and a ping pong and then you've got toilets just over there behind the bar. So, that is the Bahia Principe Costa Adeki. Um, if, you do, if you did like the video, do me a favour, please like, share and subscribe. Um, and if you're thinking about booking it, obviously, good. It's a nice hotel. Um, yeah, and there's lots of other content on the channel. So if you want to see it, take a look through and uh, see you next time. Cheers.